Released in 1991 and based on the book of the same name by Thomas Harris, The Silence of the Lambs introduced audiences to refined psychopath Hannibal Lecter, a role made iconic, and reprised in two more films, by Anthony Hopkins. Now 22 years, a prequel and a television series later, we take a look back at the cast of this riveting thriller and see what they're up to these days. Jodie Foster played FBI agent Clarice Starling, who seeks the help of noted cannibal Hannibal Lecter in pursuing a serial killer. Michelle Pfeiffer was offered the role but turned it down due to hesitation over the film's more gruesome elements. Foster recently appeared in the sci-fi film, Elysium, and directed the 2011 dark comedy, The Beaver, starring Mel Gibson. Noted thespian Sir Anthony Hopkins played Drive. Hannibal Lecter, a psychologist, cannibal, and eloquent sociopath who helped Starling solve her serial killer case. Gene Hackman was originally set to play the part and direct the film, but when the script evolved into a more aggressively dark film, he passed. Hopkins reprises the role of Odin, father of Thor, in Thor, The Dark World. He also recently portrayed Alfred Hitchcock in Hitchcock, and appears next in Darren Aronofsky's Bible epic, Noah. Ted Levine broke into the mainstream as serial killer and cross-dresser Jamie Gumb, aka Buffalo Bill. The famous new dancing scene was originally in the novel but not in the script, but director Jonathan Demme included it in the film at Levine's request. Levine starred on the USA Network series, Monk, from 2002 to 2009, and recently appeared in the films, Shutter Island, and, A Single Shot. He currently stars on the FX drama series, The Bridge. Michael Keaton, Mickey Rourke, and Kenneth Branagh were all considered the for the role of Jack Crawford, head of the FBI's Behavioral Science Unit. The part went to Scott Glenn, star of, Apocalypse Now, and, The Hunt for Red October. Glenn has starred in such films as, The Virgin Suicides and, Training Day, and in recent years he has appeared in, Sucker Punch, and, The Bourne Legacy. Anthony Heald played Drive. Frederick Chilton, the head of the Baltimore State Hospital for the Criminally Insane, where Drive. Lecter is incarcerated. In addition to starring in shows like, Boston Public, and, Boston Legal, Heald is also a stage actor who has appeared in several Broadway plays. Heald has also recorded over 60 audiobooks, including, The Pelican Brief, and, Jurassic Park. Brooke Smith gained 25 pounds to play the role of Catherine Martin, the overweight girl abducted by Buffalo Bill. Smith was a series regular on, Grey's Anatomy, from 2006 to 2008, and currently stars on the Showtime series, Ray Donovan. She has also appeared in the films, In Her Shoes and, Fair Game. Cassie Lemons played Ardelia Mapp, Clarice Starling's roommate at the FBI Quantico training facility. Lemons also appeared in the horror film, Candyman, but later quit acting to focus on directing. Her directing credits include, Eve's Bayou, The Caveman's Valentine, and the upcoming film, Black Nativity. She is married to fellow director and actor Vondi Curtis Hall.